What's up guys, today's video is going to be a quick one. As you may or may not know, I'm not taking any classes for the summer semester with Georgia Tech, so you might be wondering what I'm doing in my free time. And the answer is mostly relaxing, but I have been trying to improve my algorithm slash interview type question skills. So I've been tracking myself as I do leak code and algorithm review for the last month or so. And this video is pretty much just gonna be a check-in as I talk about my experience thus far and my progress. To give you guys some insight as to why I'm doing this, I'll be candid and say that historically I have been pretty bad at technical interviews. When I was an undergrad, I never took the time to study for technical interviews and that really hurt me. I definitely had a fair share, probably three or four come to mind where I was really stumped in the technical interview and kind of had to limp my way through with the interviewer helping me. And now that I have a summer where I'm not taking any classes and I'm pretty used to having like a good work ethic and like doing things outside of work uh, on my computer, I figure now is a good time to try and improve those skills. Overall, I would say I've been doing it for around a month. Chronologically, it's been longer than a month. Uh, you'll see on the spreadsheet that I'm going to pull up where I've been tracking my progress over time. It's been technically around a month and a half, but I've taken weeks off for sure. So I would say around a month. And within that month, I would say it hasn't been very focused or as focused as I would like it to be. I started off just doing easy problems and now I'm at the point where I can do medium problems with around 60% success. But even then it takes me too long, frankly. Uh, for me to be satisfied. So I'll probably continue to do it for another month or two and then I'll make another status update video. But if anything, it just makes me feel good knowing that I'm improving these skills in case I am going to interview soon. Not saying I wanna leave my current company, IBM, anytime soon, but even if I were to transfer roles, which is something that I'm considering, I think I would have to uh, complete a technical interview even though the internal transfer process is definitely a lot easier than an external hire. So I'm going to go ahead and share my spreadsheet and then I'll kind of just walk through what I've been doing this past month or so. But I started in May and I've kind of ramped it up in recent weeks. But essentially what I do is I pick a leak code problem, record it here on the spreadsheet, take note of the time it takes for me to solve it. Now, obviously this duration isn't just the time it takes for me to solve it. Sometimes I need to look at the answer and then analyze the solution. And implement it so this is just the time it takes for me uh, or how much time I spend on the problem in general I also record if I need help needed in the subject and I'll also take any notes that I have and if I have any learnings that I want to take note of for future use I mark it in green I also use github so anytime I complete a new problem I'll do it in a separate Python file commit it and then push it to this repository so if you want to track my progress or just I don't know if it would motivate you or anything, but you could follow me on GitHub. This is a public repository. I don't have any readme or anything since uh, this isn't exactly something that I think most people are gonna be interested in. So as you can see, I just started off uh, only doing easy problems and even then I still needed help on a lot of them. Continued to do more easy problems. You can see that I started a medium problem, but then realized uh, I wasn't wasn't ready for it. Eventually, I did more easy problems and kind of started moving into medium problems. Of course, with medium problems, uh, I started off with the same level of success, like around 50%. And then eventually, I kind of recently started having a little bit more progress. So I think uh, this was a pretty good week. For example, last week, I only need help on two of the six problems I solved. And then now we're at this week. In general, all I can say is that it started off pretty slow. I don't normally use Python as an interview question or as an interview language. I just use Python functionally. For example, I, I've done a lot of work uh, with pandas and matplotlib for work. And then for school, I'm using Python to complete the assignments, but I'm not using it in the same way that I am for these interview prep questions. Like, for example, I wasn't even familiar with the deck data type, which is O of 1 for append and pop, uh, some review for 
sets in Python, uh, some common functions to know in Python. But in general, after you get kind of past that first barrier, then it starts to click and then you start to remember how to use these uh, data types and then you also become more comfortable with these general concepts and you'll see there's kind of a general approach or general framework for when you're actually programming it. So overall, I think I'm just now starting to, I don't want to say enjoy it, enjoy it, but I'm definitely seeing that if I were to become good at this, it would be kind of fun. Uh, I think that's kind of reflected in the amount of time I spent generally seems to increase. I guess, of course, I have a life outside of programming, so this isn't exactly indicative of my enjoyment, like the amount of time doesn't exactly correlate to how much I enjoy doing this. Uh, for example, yeah, I went to New York for half a week here. Uh, but I think I'm just now kind of breaking through where I'm starting to enjoy it, and I'm starting to get good enough to where I can see the patterns and the type of questions so stay tuned, I might do another update in August or maybe late July just to give you an update on how I feel about it and if it was a worthwhile use of my summer. So that's it for me on this one and I'll talk to you guys later.